Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, 15 year old Catherine Hike. I think you can do a better job at this now that you're Miss Teen USA. Introduce yourself, okay. go for it. Hey guys, I'm Catherine Hike, Miss Teen USA 2015. You know what? Give me my mic back. She's better than me. Check out our check out our interview. Great new Miss Teen USA. Great year ahead. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. 15 years old, Catherine? Like, I can't even believe it. I'm like, I'm looking at you. You look like, I mean, and this isn't a comment. You're like in your early 20s. You're so composed. And now you're Miss Teen USA. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You get told you are Miss Teen USA. How cool is that? Oh, it's so cool. It's a surreal. It's definitely a dream come true. So I'm ready for an amazing year. I love the accent. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just telling you, we're friends with the Robertsons, a family. Yeah. So how does a girl from Louisiana rise up and at 15 become Miss Teen USA? Well, I don't know. It's just a, a dream come true, like I said. It, I'm from a really small town, so they're also behind me supporting me. I'm kind of like Sadie. I'm, I come from a small town, so I'm kind of growing into the, the big world to come to no, be known. So, yeah, I'm excited for this awesome year, like I said. What's the reaction when you win? Like, oh. how does your town react? Oh, they were so supportive. They actually had a watching party at a local <laughs> restaurant. There were over 100 people there. So it was really cool to get, like, the reaction videos of all them screaming and crying and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing to get all the support from my really small town. You have some big shoes to fill. Kaylee was, like, one of my favorite. I, I remember do. saying to her, I'm like, you must be the most composed, mature young lady I think I've ever met. Yeah. She saw this as a responsibility and as a platform to do good. Right. Talk to me. Is, 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 that's got to be such a big part of what you're going to be able to do over the next year. What are your thoughts on the next year? How do you change and what you want to work on in terms of public charity and all that good stuff? Right. Well, Miss Teen USA does have a really big voice. And I feel that we can just, you know, really talk about what we want and do what what we want to be passionate about. And I'm really passionate about working with special needs children. I've worked with the Special Olympics and a couple of other organizations like that throughout this past year. So I'm super excited about be working with the best buddies. And yeah, just being a positive role model overall to so many, not only young women, but pretty much everyone in the U.S. So you have this like incredible platform. Millions of young women are going to be looking up to you. Is right. there a responsibility? You're nervous, you excited. What's yeah. like goes through your head? Well, it's a huge responsibility because there's so many young girls out there looking at you as a positive role model, and you become one as the moment you win, and overnight you're automatically a role model to so many young girls out there. So there is some pressure, but I'm excited because I feel like I can be a really positive role model. When do you decide you want to do pageants? When is the moment click that this is what I want to do going through my youth? Right. Well, I did a few when I was younger, actually, kind of just smaller ones. But I just took it as an opportunity to kind of get my name out there in the modeling world and just so many opportunities and get to speak about what I'm really passionate about and working with different charities that I love working with. When you look forward, do you start thinking about now Here's what I want to do when I grow up. Here's how this may change my yeah. life. Yeah, well, there are so many opportunities that are going to come my way, like in the modeling world. But, of course, I still want to go to college, too, maybe the medical field, maybe a nurse anesthetist, sports medicine. So, yeah, there's a lot of new opportunities. So I'm excited to see what the future holds. Do you start looking forward for the next year in terms of the excitement? Do you say, hey, this is, you know, who I want to meet, what I want to do? Like, has that already been planning in your head? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know New York Fashion Week is coming up really soon. <laughs> She's like, I'm ready. So I am ready for that. I'm super excited. I kind of came last year just to like a show, one show, but I'm super excited to get the full experience, you know, with Miss USA and Miss Universe and yep. just attend some shows and maybe walk in some, maybe. They're both the coolest people, oh, by are. the way. I, Paulina was like one of my favorite. We were, I was just talking to her. We had Katrina about and uh, both Boat. I was like bowed and bowed. Katrina Bowden in that seat right before you, and I was telling her I was like Paulina was like one of the funniest oh, yeah. people. She goes she, off cuff. Yeah, she's so much. Have you have you started getting advice from them as to here's what the role will entail? Yeah, I, since I am in the apartment right now with them, they, I've gotten to know them, and they're super sweet and encouraging. And you know, they're there for anything that I need. So I'm super excited that they're my sisters this year because they're just such amazing women to be around. Going from Louisiana to New York, I mean, talk about, it's yeah. like you can't go from one spectrum to the other end of the spectrum any yeah. more than that. Right. Talk to me about your experiences so far in New York. It's media week. You know, it's yeah. got to be crazy. 
Yeah, it is a little crazy, but I have been to New York before, so it's a, it's a lot different this time since I am Miss Teen USA, so I'm on a media tour and a little more busy, but I mean, I'm used to it. I love New York, and I'm ready for any challenge it has to throw at me. <laughs> did you know, did you have a feeling that you might have a chance to win going into it? You can give me the humble well, answer, the real answer. Yeah, well, you know, I did have some, like, feelings sometimes. You know, you kind of get some feelings. And I was really calm, like, the night of finals. Like, for some reason, everyone else was, like, super nervous. And I was just, like, backstage dancing, you know, just really calm. Like, I like, I got this. I just, well, not, not really, <laughs> but I just said, like, a quick prayer. And, like, I was just calm and peaceful about it. So I was just, like, if it's part of God's plan, it's going to happen. So... It is, so here I am. You're a softball player. I, I am. can't even imagine I, that. Oh, I've hit a, a home run fence over over the fence, like straight down the middle. No way. I swear, you can call it my team. <laughs> no way. I swear. Do you want to continue to pursue that? Maybe not to the college, you know, but definitely in high school. It's something I really love doing, and yeah, I love it. Is it tough to maintain normal life while you're Miss Teen USA? Are you going to be able to just continue to do all the things you did and be a normal teenager yeah. while still carrying the crown? Yeah, of course. You mean, I, I am going to be living in Franklinton, Louisiana. I'm not going to be living in New York because I still am in high school. So I'm still going to be like on the dance team and the softball team and still be, you know, involved in everything that I've been involved in. But it's going to be a little hard, but I'm ready for it. I think I can... I can juggle it all. You're going to be like the biggest celebrity in high <laughs> school. How cool is that going to be? It's going to be pretty cool, but I mean, I tell my friends I'm still the same person that I was before I even won. So don't treat me any different. I'm still the same Catherine I was before. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, You're all you. 15 years old, man. You know what I was doing when I was 15 years old? What were you doing? I don't, I don't even know, but it was, I'm sure it, A, wasn't good, B, wasn't anything successful, and C, wasn't being interviewed by anybody about oh it, goodness. so congratulations, Catherine.